I wasn't ready. Okay, one, a two, go. Welcome back to Cousin Chicken. <laughs> Turn the light on. I kind of feel like we already I feel like started. I can see myself. You can see yourself? I can see yourself. Y'all thought we was going, huh? Y'all thought. Yeah, right. They, yeah, right. You know they what? I noticed. Know. I noticed that, uh, like, two people. Because you said this was going to pop. Y'all, we were trying to pop this champagne for y'all for New Year. My cousin was like, I got this. And I was like, do it pop. She said, it's a champagne. <laughs> Why did it make it pop? Because then you just started off the New Year last. <laughs> Uh, well, I hope that's not. I hope that's not insinuating that a year gonna be. <laughs> Think your shit gonna pop and it's like <laughs> reality check. We don't. Yeah. We don't rebuke this champagne bottle. We is because that was. But cheers. What's I say, cousin? You noticed what? You said you noticed something. That you a motherfucking fool. When I said that they thought we was gone, he was like, I noticed that two people unsubscribed to us. Shut the door. Oh, my mama. I was like, when I seen that shit, I was like, automatically square Which up. one of you was it? Automatically square Why up. Why would you? You know, because. Sorry. You know what? For the new year, I'm not going to do that on camera. I'm not going to fix my chest on camera. But it's really difficult when when you big breasted, period. It is. Now you finally got big titties. Now you just know. I can't stand my mama who gained who a little bit of weight. And now they just think they, they know the struggle. I can't say nothing. If I agree with her on something, then I'm wrong They too. think they know the struggle when they don't, okay? Okay? I was hoping that we Gang could have this in the new year. Gang 10 pounds. She think we got something to comment. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is an attack on my body and my character. It's anyway, body shaming. I, we, we miss you guys. Like, we took a two-month hiatus. Damn, we sure did. But you know what? But we back. And we black. Oh, we've been black. <laughs> do you do it the left hand or the right hand? I don't know. What, 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 I think this is somebody, feels... One of the guys in my job, he was like, what does this mean? When, uh, do you say when African-American people do it? And I was like, he, he worded it in some kind of way. I was like, I'm not sure exactly what you're trying to say. I was like, because it sounds like you're generalizing. I was like, what are you trying to ask me exactly? And he's like, well, like, I forgot exactly how he, he said it, but it didn't make sense at first when he asked me. I was Good like, for you. Good for like, you for calling that shit out. I was like... Fucking own your shit and say what you're trying to you're say. You're fucking to me. racist and that's it. You know, in 2020, we call now all racists. I don't care who you are, even if you're my friend. Calling you out on it. All my Caucasian friends, they ain't getting no passes no more. I'm not just gonna let it slide in the moment. Yeah, okay. Nope. I'm like, and I'm gonna do it like this. You oh. racist. Racist. <laughs> Whoa. Um, what? <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> I have been working my. Beep. Off, especially for the holidays. All those words you just said. Now I'm doing. <laughs> oh, cheers! Did we say cheers? Uh, uh cheers! Cheers to New Year, New Year's. As <laughs> y'all can see, ain't nothing changed. <laughs> but the motherfucking day. That's Here. it. Um, but no, like especially for the holidays and my line of work, like it gets really busy. So I was like literally only taking one day off sometimes, and she was busy. So our schedules just. It wasn't clicking and we were trying to find time to work and do everything else with the family. Like it was just, it was a lot going on. For yeah, both of us. I, well, but I can say, so since this is a video that we, like the first video in a few months and it's the new year, we decided to just kind of talk about how, the tones that we want to set for ourselves right? Um, within the new year. And just to kind of start off with that is I think a big part of my, I told her, I was like, my word is definitely consistency for 2020 like i like i start a lot of things and i have like great ideas but a bitch just needs to be a little bit more consistent <laughs> just a little bit more and i think that even reflects with the youtube like yeah. i really feel like we get we get so excited about talking about content and and coming up with ideas and sometimes we you know granted our schedules don't always align and that's a big that's like one of the biggest things. That's like that's probably our big. That is our biggest problem is our schedules aligning. Yeah, but if I had more time, we would probably film a lot more often. Y'all yeah, because we genuinely do like love this, and but it is it's a job. It it's is. like it really is a job, and we was like we was slacking our job, and people will probably fire us. We I think that's why we lost two. We got we lost. That's two. why we because they fired, fired us. Damn it! Why did Donald Trump? I ain't never got fired. 
I don't even want to talk about. Don't talk about that. My cousin wants to talk about the that. whole situation with the bombing thing is just so heavy. That's the thing that's supposed so to pop. So sad. On the champagne bottle set on the floor. Did I say bombing? Was it a bombing or a shooting? It, Assassination. It shooting. <laughs> Whatever. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I said bomb because. Um, oh, the in Kenya? Yes. And I was reading that this morning about the. He was like 23 years old, a soldier. Yeah. So sad. Anyway, so okay. what okay. is. Not anyway, because I don't want to just kind of. Go into that subject, yeah. like anyway, because that is very back on. Got a moment of silence for him yeah. and all the yeah, moment of silence. <laughs> Let us pray. Okay. <laughs> I didn't close my eyes. You didn't close your eyes? No, but okay. Moment of silence I with I eyes. Pray. Well, you the one said it as <laughs> if you <laughs> keep your eyes on the prize. Okay, so. Um, I want to start with like what 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 you trying to do for the new year? Um, cause she wouldn't let me talk to her about it earlier, but it's kind of in the same thing as far as being consistent uh, with my day to day and kind of like getting myself back on track um, with where I was, like with being able to read my books, meditating, and doing it on a consistent basis. We used to be like really disciplined about that, and that was part of my whole regimen. When I wake up in the morning, I put my something on positive for my 15 minutes. Sometimes I'll listen to it all morning. When I go to bed, when I come home, I, I find time in between my day to meditate and I stop doing that. It was like yearning for it. Like yeah. once you started, it was like that crazy. Like and when you are thrown off, it is very, very hard to get back on. It's just like working out. Like have you ever like went to the gym like hard, 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 hard. Yeah. And then you take that like pause from the it's gym. It's terrible. It's hard to get, and I really think that applies to everything. Like as soon as you take a break, it's really hard to just like jump back in shit. It is. So I and I, I love reading. Like I have um Audible on Amazon and I had started a couple books and then I stopped them. And I'm like, why? But you get caught up in everyday life. I feel like, okay, well, when I get home, I'm always I don't wanna say be bothered <laughs> with my family, but you know, but yeah, I but consume, cook. like I, I gotta help my daughter with homework or I gotta clean up like there's always something that life starts. Home. Yeah. Or if you try to take a moment out for yourself, your spouse or your kids like that's why you literally so have hard. to carve the time in. It's like, cause you said you wake yeah. up in the morning. It has to be that time, or it won't happen. Like, yeah. it sucks to say that, but once you start, once the day start going, you just be like, okay. But I'm the same thing. Like, I, I wanted to like read more, so that's the book over there that I'm reading right now, and it's called Successful Women Speak Differently. So she basically in the book, which I'm really excited about. I was like, okay, I'm gonna read. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a slow reader. Like, I be like. And the went to is <laughs> for some reason. You read it like that? I, not like okay, I'm I'm over exaggerating a little bit, yeah. but like that book isn't that big. Yeah. But I started the book like three days ago, and it be taking me like an hour to read fifteen pages. Like I'm not even lying. Yeah. Like an hour to read fifteen pages. Do you like take notes and do like I do? Like notes? I underline or something, yeah. and then I'll just kind of like process what I read, like something right. that really resonated with me. Like a, a quote, and I posted on Instagram was um. I can't exact, I can't remember it exact, but it was basically saying like how you feel on the outside will manifest the way in in your success. Like if you don't feel like you can do and something, like, then yeah, in, internally, mm -hmm. if you don't feel like right. you're going to make some sales at work today, if you just don't feel like you can do I, it, I won't make any sales. You won't, you won't be able to do it. Anyway, I really like the book because she just talks about, she really points out things that we do with our voice and like how yeah. we speak and it shows like insecurities and I'm like, yeah. it's crazy. I posted like, yikes, because... Some of the shit I was reading, I'm like, wow, like I can see myself in the negative parts. Yeah. And it really kind of helped expose like my insecurities, which I have no problem sharing. I shared on Instagram how I just all never felt like I was like the smartest. I don't know why I did the quotes. But like I, that was just something. But I feel like if you say something out loud, you disempower it and yeah. it, you realize that it's not really true. Just because it takes a nigga to read, it takes a nigga an hour to read 50, 50 pages, don't mean I'm slow. Mm -mm. I'm reading. And even when you stuttered right there, not part of either. I don't mean nothing. Cause did you see what I had posted with that guy Russ? <laughs> she did stutter a little bit, but he was like, you know, stuttering Stanley. <laughs> um, the world rewards like you betting on you. Yeah, like, and I think I that's that. very true. Cause like you look at some people, and you may even think are you know like they not the best that, at that, but the but they them blew up. But it's because in their heart of hearts. It didn't matter about nothing else. If they was underqualified or if they didn't have this, they didn't have that. They was like, I'm betting on me. That's what, and that's what and the that's book talk about. The book talk about just the, 
the voice like uh two women who went to a job interview for like art mm -hmm. one had really great artwork the other one was like so so uh on paper one was like amazing and then yeah. the other one wasn't really qualified but she ended up getting a job because she spoke with confidence yeah. and all this stuff and i'm like and she even talked about this and i know this is not about the video but this is something that i guess kind of because yeah, the new year me just trying to better myself to me is betterment and i feel like i did that last year mm -hmm. but i fell off and i just want to be consistent with my whole betterment journey but in yeah. the book she talks about um what was I saying? What y'all Uh, being confident. Oh, okay. So yeah, so she's talking about the millennial. You know, like, so like, is this cute? Yeah. Like, you can't tell if I'm asking you a question or if I'm telling. Or no, this or I'm is, telling you. Or like, if I'm like, this is like, cute. cute. And you want me to be like, yeah, or no, like I don't know. You what want you me to say. give you what is validation, right? And she talks about it. a lot of women do that. Like, we'll ask questions, but we'll we'll say something, but we'll kind of end it as a question just in case. People don't approve of what we're saying. I think that's very true. It's very true. And I'm like, damn, I do that a lot. Like, I'll have a great idea and, like, I'll share it. But I'll kind of share it in a way to kind of get Somebody approval else's opinion, yeah. before like, I go. So, okay? I just really want to, like, this year, just do what I've been doing and just, like, really zone, like, zone in and just be better so that I can initially, like, help other people. So, we're going to be talking about definitely about more topics, uh, but... Also, we will be focusing again on being positive and just bettering yourself. Like yeah. taking time out for you and you alone. Self-care, self-development, all of that. Because how are you gonna hold everything together and everybody else together and you ain't together? Because if you gonna if you if you together you can do this. But if you're not together, you're gonna be, you gonna be wobbling like this. Ooh, wobble, and everybody gonna shake be falling. Wobble, wobble. Let me see you shake it, shake it. Now won't you drop it, drop it? Ooh, take it. When you go like this, somebody roll down the uh, shoulder. Uh, okay. Wow, just like somebody. <laughs> somebody. Anyway. Oh, we're wearing green too, guys, because green is a symbol of new beginnings. And it's new beginnings. New beginnings. Whatever happened, okay. whatever happened last year is deleted. Yeah. Your wholeness is deleted. Delete, delete. Okay, 2019, if you was a whole, you ain't a whole no more in 2020. So if they try to call you out, bloop. If you broke up with somebody in 2019, look at that's 2019. You don't even know them. Who is that? Never dated them. Never what? Who, what? Uh -uh. Change your name. Never happened. You can change your name if you want to in 2020. Change it don't even matter. Change your name. Stop looking at me like that. Clearly she didn't take that bullshit. <laughs> if it was something you should have, if, honestly, if it was something that you really should have left in 2019, it should have been that dumbass thing that you be doing out here. That's probably why we lost some, <laughs> some subscribers because of that. I don't think so. And you sung it in here. Like, what was that? Yeah, because it's like a microphone. Like, when she, no, it's a fucking, <laughs> fucking muzzle. Cover that shit. <laughs> anyway. I hope in 2020 she stopped bullying me, but it looks like we are. Looks like it ain't going to happen. Because she be bullying me too, y'all. I still will gather She's the evidence. Chihuahua. Uh, damn. Y'all hear? See? I was easy E last year. I was all kind of thing. Now I'm a fucking chihuahua. Chihuahua because people would assume because I'm bigger, I'm probably the bully. But no, after the bullying. Uh, but <laughs> definitely, we are ready to get back into full effect. We got some good topics coming your way. I'm about to whip this. We may have some surprise guests like, ah! you know, come in or whatever. Um, but you know, we'll see. We got Drake. Some Drake. Come over here. Come sit. Okay, you want to he gonna wait to. My cousin gonna have some of her model friends come on, cause you know she a model. She. Famous. I literally. I don't even. I... <laughs> what you? What you literally says? <laughs> I like I. I need to do better with being like social, cause I'm not. You know what the she best does? Social. Cause she used to get invited to a lot of events. Like, oh, I got a bat. I was like, come on. First of all, now I like I really don't be having a sitter. But granted, I could I could put more effort into being social. But it's funny because I was yeah. reading my Zodiac stuff last night, and it was just talking about how like socially awkward Gemini's are. You was are. reading that devil stuff. First of all, stop judging me. In 20, 2020, stop First judging me. First of all, people. I'm gonna judge her. I'm not. A every one... time if I say something about my crystals and stuff, she's like, "Ooh, that's that devil stuff." But she over here reading the Zodiac. <laughs> And it says about Okay, Gemini. first of all, I am not a one dimension person. Ooh, there's don't layers. The dimensions there's it. layers to me, and I there's think layers. everybody needs to get to know the layers I'm of me. I was gonna say that I'm wearing my chucks with this outfit, and it actually is kind of cute. I was gonna say that I'm wearing my flip flops. 
and she's super wrinkly, dinkly. <laughs> there goes the bullying. Anyway, don't forget I to like and the video with all the bullying. We are reaching and the, the thousand subscribers. Come back, year. don't come back. You don't know how to act. <laughs> We ain't even no second chances. No, so we no catch your ass on subscribe, resubscribe. We're gonna block you. <laughs> and we're gonna screenshot you and put you on and put you on our story. Because 2020 is about putting everything out. No. 2020. <laughs> we gotta call it how we see it. And consistency. Keep your same energy, okay? Or the I can't believe inside. they really unsubscribed to us. Like, we gotta see who that was. Was that anybody at the party? Probably not. Because the people that are important are the people that are watching. That are here. are still here for us. You're here and you're present. Cheers to that. I'll drink to that. Drink. See you next time. Like, comment, share. Your mama, your uncle, your auntie. Drink. Your auntie. Drink.